Good Friday morning and welcome to Live at 9. We are here live at the Ag Museum because Pickle Fest is happening this weekend along with a lot of other things. You can see guys are getting set up right now. They're expecting one of the biggest crowds they've ever had while Pickle Fest has been going on. And you remember last year it rained hard, but it looks like this time the weather's going to play nice with us. So they have a lot of events going on. But there are a ton of events happening just this weekend in general. Some of those things are a fishing tournament. First Friday on Ferris is happening tonight on Ferris Street. You've also got a free youth football camp that I'm going to talk about in just a few minutes. But don't forget the Georgetown Festival is happening. Mega Everest Homecoming Parade is happening and a community fair at Greater Bethlehem Temple Church. So again, lots of events happening this weekend. Lots of amazing things that you can do for free as well. So make sure you get out and even if you feel like resting, just, you know, make a pass through some of these events, but also that free youth football camp that I talked about earlier is happening at St. Andrews. And this morning we got a chance to talk with some of the guys who are a part of that and some NFL players to find out why you need to go ahead and register right now. So you're offering a free youth football camp this weekend. I'm standing in between two guys who have played football on different levels. But Senator, why do you think it's so important to get the kids involved in this? Well, it's extremely important to get the kids out there because we want them to learn more than just football. Uh, like you said, we both have played it at different levels, but we've taken so much more out of the game than just learning how to play football. Uh, like I said, this is my one of my best friends for over a decade now, and that's from football. But we want the kids to get learn skills that'll take them through school, through life, and when they get out, they're not just knowing, hey, I know how to run a seven-yard slant. No, they know, okay, I know how to do my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know whether I need to rent a house, whether I need to buy a house, whether I need to rent an apartment. And they know about finances. Those are the kind of things that we want them to learn other than just football. Awesome. And now you have played in the NFL, but you're also going to be here sharing with the kids. What lessons do you want them to learn from you specifically? Yeah, I want them to learn uh, how to deal with adversity. I want them to learn about resilience. You're looking at a guy who was fired four times in his first season in the NFL, undrafted free agent, told, hey, you might not be good enough. You might be too slow. You might not make it. And 10 years later, somehow I found a way to make it. And, and when you look at the name of the camp, the Roy and Marie Hilton football camp, my grandfather, Roy Hilton, he was an underdog. He was the first NFL player to ever come from Hazelhurst, um, the first ever NFL player to come from that area, but, but also his life was laced with adversity. His father passed away before he was born. His mother died in front of him when he was five, got struck by lightning, and he still found a way to get A's and B's in high school and to pursue, go to Jackson State, go to the Baltimore Colts and change his life forever. And so um, if you want to know how to deal with adversity, because life is going to life, mm -hmm. uh, we will be teaching that and talking about those character traits tomorrow. Awesome. So now can you tell the folks, because somebody at home is like freaking out right now that you're on TV. <laughs> tell me your name and your number. Yeah, my name is Brandon Copeland. Uh, my phone number is... No, I'm no. joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, Brandon Copeland. I uh, played 10 years in the NFL. I've, I've played with the Baltimore Ravens, the Tennessee Titans, the New York Jets, the Detroit Lions, the New England Patriots, the Atlanta Falcons, and I ended with the Baltimore Ravens, my hometown team, last year. That is amazing. A good old resume right there. <laughs> All right, so for the kids, because you said you want at least 50 more kids to register this morning if we yes. can make that happen. So where do you want them to go and what other details do they need? Okay, you need to go to beyondthebasicsinc.org, and that's basics with an S. And as soon as you get on the website, the first thing up there is the Mississippi camp. You click the link to sign in. And when you sign in, kids, we, we need your... Uh, transcript, your last report card, because we got some good prizes for y'all kids. Mm. For, the, for the ones that excel on the field and showing us they're excelling off of the field. There's some real good prizes. <laughs> so if you want to be eligible for that prize, you got to get your transcript in and your report card in because, as he said, life's going life. We want to show you that you got to put in the effort, not just on the football field, but also, also outside of it if you want to succeed. Awesome. And you know, both of you guys doing amazing things. You became a senator, and you out here just inspiring the kids and doing all these amazing things. So, again, you can still register right now. Right now. 50 kids. 50. We want 50 this morning. All right. Anything else they need to know? Come have fun. And like I said when we were talking the other time, hey, parents, if you want a free Saturday morning, <laughs> sign your kids up and bring them on out here to St. Andrews, and we'll take care of them.